The shop index page is pretty straightforward. It's gonna show all our products along with viewing, filtering, and pagination options. So let's begin. We'll start by duplicating our uh, index page here. So right click, duplicate, and we'll call this shop index. All right, now from here, we just need for starters, uh, a few elements, the header, the hero, and the footer, the rest. So preview customer support team will just uh, delete. All right, now let's focus on this part first, All right? So this is the shop page. So we need to move our active menu indicator to the right to our uh, shop page there. All right. And let's put this, let's set it as menu item active, we will resize the indicator to match the new width. So 43. There we go. And then we'll just um, go back to home here, make it inactive. And then just bring these back two pixels. And the first part of our customization is done. Now, this bit will change. So instead of a hero area, we're going to have uh, more like a page header, where this bit will transform into a breadcrumbs. And this bit will transform into the page name. So we don't need these, these, these. So delete them, this will be shop, and then we'll get rid of this bit. And this will say home slash and then shop. So this will actually be a link, we can use it to go back home. And actually, let's uh, put let's see one, two, three spaces uh, between the home and the slash. Now we'll push this up a little bit to 90. And we'll push the main title to be like this. And we're doing this to use as little vertical space as possible. Now this will um, will stay. So we'll push it up like that. And this will stay as well. Minus eight there. And this will bring up as well. All right, perfect. So that is the page header currently, and we're actually going to rename it to page header. All right, now here, we're going to have a section to that will show all of our items, along with filters for categories and display modes. So we can choose whether or not to display all items, or just four per page, eight per page, and so on. And at the bottom, we're going to have a pagination control. So let's begin by creating a rectangle here, 1440, the height doesn't really matter. Now, we're gonna use the light BG preset border will be set to outside. Let's make it bigger like this. And then we'll start with navigation, this time light. So nav uh, up light. There we go. Line that in the middle and bring it up to its correct position. We'll uh, rename this to section BG and we'll group these as items. All right, inside, we're going to start with an h6 that says category, and this will be h6 left, we will be reusing that style, bring up the grid, we uh, align it properly with our grid. And then we'll basically create um, some sort of tab control here. So let's, uh, let's actually duplicate this. And we'll say something like all, but we will change its style. So uh, this will actually be the text color, it will be Futura heavy 20, like this. Okay, we're going to align it with the category text, position it at 30 pixels from that. And then uh, let's, uh, let's actually create the um, a new text style here, we'll call this tab active, duplicate it, this will be a regular text, basically, and it's going to say something like portfolio. So here we are listing all of our categories. This will be tab inactive. Okay, let's do uh, like two more categories like e commerce, for example, and uh, corporate. Good. Now let's uh, create a, uh, a separator or a base for our uh, tabs. 
So for that, we're going to use the line tool. We're going to draw a line from one end of the grid to the other. Now let's bring this up 30 pixels. And for the actual uh, border color, let's use let's use the light border. Okay. So it currently looks like this. And let's make sure it aligns properly with our grid. There we go. All right. So with this, let's create um, an active menu indicator, just like we have on the main header. And it's uh, just going to be another line here that's, uh, that has a, the text color. And it will match it to the all text. So it's going to be 25. Sketch doesn't really work okay with lines. There we go. Let's bring it forward. All right, just like that. And then on the right side, we'll create the display modes. So for that, I'm uh, simply going to duplicate some of these elements. Okay, just going to paste them in and move them around. So this will actually be part of display modes while the rest, so portfolio, e-commerce, corporate, that line and this line and category and all will be part of category filter. All right, so uh, here we're gonna say display and we're gonna start with all and then we're gonna go to four per page and then maybe two more options. This really depends on how you want to um, uh, display your items. Four per page, eight per page, and we can even go to 12 per page, like that. Okay, let's see, 30, 30, 30. Let's bring all of these and let's align it to the right side, like that. And let's not forget about the active tab indicator here, like that. And we've finished the filtering section, basically. Now, we need to show some items. And fortunately, we already have um, some cards with products. So let's go into symbols. Let's bring in product card one. We'll put it here. We'll align it at 90 pixels from that filtering section. So just like this. And then we'll bring in product card two. All right, like that. Make sure everything is aligned properly. And then we'll bring in the third one. And if we want, we can create yet another one, but I'm just going to duplicate uh, this one just for the sake of this demo. And those are the products, basically. And now, since we can have multiple products per page, we need a pagination control. So for that, uh, we're actually going to duplicate the category filter. Yeah, uh, we're going to align it in the center there. We're going to bring it down and we're going to rename it to pagination. And we're going to position it at 90 pixel pixels from the uh, content above. Now on the pagination, we're actually going to have a couple of items. So let's actually create an active and an inactive pagination item. So this will be number one, this will be number two. Uh, the number one, which is the active one, will have these exact specs, but we will rename it just in case we need to style it different later as pagination active. Also, what we're going to change here is the width of this line. It's going to be 60 and the text will be centered just like this. All right. Now, this bit, let's actually delete that. Uh, let's, um, let's group these as active. Let's uh, duplicate it to create the inactive. Okay, and this will be Futura, book, muted text for color, let's put number two there, and we'll create a new style called pagination inactive. And this color will actually use the same color as the text. So it's just, uh, it just contrasts a little with the, um, 
uh, with this line, with the main line. Now, notice that you, you can still see this kind of misalignment here. And that's because you can see on some of the lines, sketch is using half pixels. So you can get rid of those decimals and you can correct this. But, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Now we can duplicate this if we want to create a number three, for example. And one thing we can do is uh, kind of leave a one pixel gap between these. So something like this and something like this. So it's just a small gap in there. All right. So once we have all of these, uh, we can grab them all, we can group them and we can align them in the center and then un group. All right, perfect. So that is the pagination. Now, we simply need to add a navigation down light position properly 60 from the navigation and 60 from the bottom, just like that. And then finally, we're going to have the footer, which will uh, just bring up like this. All right, and that's it basically that's our page we can just uh, resize this canvas we don't need that much so let's have a final look at it you now we transformed our hero into a page header and then we have the filtering and display mode options items pagination and footer and that's it for the shop index page as you can see, once you have certain elements in place, like the header or the footer, it's really easy to build uh, new pages. Now, a shop also has categories. So coming up next, we're going to design the category-related pages.